A letter for me? I never receive letters. It's been two weeks since I received that letter from the Wildberger Hospital. Since then, I haven't been fine. I can't get out of my head the image of those little girls. I can't sleep. And when I am able to fall asleep, it's only to dream horrible nightmares. I need to know what's going on. What's the meaning of all of this? I'm going to the Wildberger Hospital in hopes of finding some answers about this strange photo. I need to know what's going on.
Vince. What the hell is going on here? My child, you are pale. What happened to you? A person in a wheelchair with knives in his hands was chasing me. Oh, it's you. Don't you remember me? I'm the town priest. We met here in the chapel only a couple of days ago. What? I'm sorry. I don't remember you. I certainly don't remember coming here before. I see. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I'm old and get confused every now and again. What is going on here, Father? Where is everybody? The patients and the hospital personnel have been transferred to the new hospital in town. This old mansion has been left pretty much abandoned. Why are all the lights off? I don't like this. I feel the same. Something evil is happening here. Something wicked that hides in the shadows. Is there a way to turn on the lights? The old generator has been playing up. It happens sometimes. Go to the end of the hall and through the door that leads to the generator room. You can restore the power from there. I see. I'll do that. Wait. Take this with you. It's not much, but it might be useful. It's dangerous to walk around the mansion unarmed. Thank you, Father, but what are you going to do without a weapon? My child, with a Bible in my hand, God protects me. You may find what you're looking for in the library. How can I find the library? It's on the second floor of the East Wing. Take the stairs in the main hall. Oh, you'll need to unlock the door in the waiting room. Thank you. Take care, Father.
These girls are the same twins as those in the photo. The ones that will awaken the devil are ready for their operation. It seems like the girls are being prepared for some kind of surgical procedure. If I don't find them soon, something terrible might happen. The plaque says Anna and Emma. meet again. Father, what are you doing here? Don't you see, child? I'm eating some soup. God feeds my spirit, but I have to take care of my body. Oh my, what is this doing in my soup? Get rid of this thing, would you? I found some information about the twins. I think someone means to perform surgery on them. I see. There is an operating room on the West Wing. Who would do such a thing? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. You said that operating room is on the West Wing of the mansion, right? That's right, the operating room is on the West Wing, on the second floor. But to get there, you will need to restore the power to the electric lock that's on the door that connects that area. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Father. God be with you, my child.
What's going on here? Why is that weird man walking around the operating table with that weird chandelier in his hands? What are you talking about, child? I don't see anything. You don't see the man on the other side of the glass? My child, this place is giving you hallucinations. You must rest. I don't know what's real or what is a product of my imagination, Father. Let me tell you a story. Hundreds of years ago, this island was inhabited by a tribe. One night, the moon could not be seen in the night sky, and the world was plunged into darkness. The shaman of the tribe, those with special blood, danced around their dead, willing their bodies to rise and walk the earth once more. That sounds terrifying.
are you? You don't seem to be one of them. One of them? What are you doing down here? My grandfather and those men in suits locked me down in this cell. Please, miss, you have to help me get out of here. Of course I'll help. Stay calm, okay? Everything will be all right, I promise. Okay, miss. Where are your parents? My father is on a business trip. He should be back in a couple of days. And my mother was also captured by those men. I'm so sorry. I'll get you out of here. First, we need to find a way to open the door. What do you plan to do, miss? Those men in suits took the key with them, and I don't think it's a good idea that you get close to them. I'm sure there's a way to get the lock off without using the key. Please hurry. There isn't much time. We need to save Mother. We'll get you out. Just wait a little longer. What have you done to the lock, miss? I poured some acid on it. The metal will eventually dissolve, but it will take some time. I only hope that the acid works fast. There's almost no candle left. You have to be patient, little one. Sooner or later, the lock will fall apart. For now, the best we can do is wait. Thank you, miss. What is your name, little one? I'm Anna. Anna Wildberger. I live here in the hospital with my parents and my sister. Have we met before? Your face seems familiar, but I'm sure we've never seen each other before. Do you work in the hospital? No, but I have this photograph. Are you one of these girls? What? Why do you have this photograph? I don't know, but I'm trying to figure it out. It was mailed to me a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? My father took that photo yesterday morning, just before he left for his trip. Why are you lying to me? I swear I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. What do you want from me? I just want to help you get out of here. I'm not talking to you anymore. That acid was probably another lie to fool me. You never wanted to help me get out. Anna, you have to listen to me. I need you to trust me. I am your friend. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Anna, you have to listen to me. I need you to trust me. I am your friend.
What happened to you? 
You're in shock. We need to take care of your injury before you bleed out.
Father, are you okay? Caroline, my child, that thing has stolen my Bible. Stay there, Father. Right now, it's vital that you keep calm. Yes, you're right. I don't know how I'll be able to thank you for taking care of my arm, my child. What are you talking about, Father? It wasn't me. But I saw you. Oh, uh, you are right. I'm getting confused. Now that I think about it, it was Dr. William who treated my arm. Dr. William, the Wildberger twin's father. Is he in the mansion? I had no idea Dr. William had daughters. Where can I find him? He's usually in his office. You'll probably find him there. I'll go find him. He might be able to give me some answers. Thank you, Father. I'm sure this will be of help. God be with you, child.
What happened to the statue of Christ? Did you fix it yourself? Oh, hello, child. Welcome to this humble house of our Lord. I'm the town priest. It's a pleasure to meet you. What is your name? What is it? Did I say something wrong? No, no, not at all. I am Caroline, Caroline Walker. A beautiful name. Were you saying something about our Lord's statue? The last time I was here, it was scattered around the floor, in pieces. God forbid it, my child. This statue has been here for over a hundred years. We take great care of it. It has never been damaged. And let's hope it remains in here like that for many more years.
Emma, don't come to the vault. Save yourself from hell. It's a warning for Emma, one of the missing twins. It may be possible that one of the girls is inside the vault. I must find a way to get in. What? Is this my room? But this is hundreds of miles away from the mansion. How can this be possible? My head, 
What is this? I know this song. I know it. It's the song my sister and I used to listen to when we were children. My sister. My sister Anna. I remember. I am Emma. The girl who fell from the bridge 14 years ago. All this time, I've kept the traumatic memories hidden inside my head. But this song has set them free. Anna, you have been alone in the dark this whole time. I don't know if you are still there, but I promise I will do everything in my power to find you. It's time to find out what's behind the vault door in the sewers.
Father Noah? Now I remember you. Oh God, you have your memories back. Then you remember that your stupid mother stopped me from sacrificing you and your sister. A sacrifice that could have brought back our savior. Well, God took care of her. He made her pay for her sins. This is all your fault. Did you kill my father too? The radiation that comes from the sacred placenta is extremely harmful to us, impure and worthless beings. For years, Bertram and his son William after him tried to find a cure for the effects of radiation. Today, William succeeded. With this accomplished, I have no use for him anymore. May God welcome him into his realm. You will pay for this, Noah. What have you done to my sister? Where is she? Your sister is just another tool for me to awaken our savior. Follow me if you want your answers. Hey, wait! Where do you think you're going? know what terrors I'll face below, but if Anna is there, I will find her, no matter what.
My dear granddaughter, you finally reunite with your sister. Noah. You survived the fall from the old bridge. This is a divine sign, a true miracle. God tested my faith, and now that I have been found worthy, you have been brought back to me. What is your role in all of this? My role? I orchestrated all of it. Fourteen years ago, I made a mistake that I have regretted every single day. This time, I won't let you escape. I have you just where I want you. What the hell are you talking about? It is finally time for the ritual. With your and your sister's blood, we will finally witness the birth of our savior. It is endless grace. He will make me the new pope, the supreme pontiff. Every conceited prick in the Vatican will rot in this stinging town. You are insane. You killed my dad, and because of you, your own daughter and my sister Anna have been poisoned by that damned radiation. What kind of monster are you? A monster? You call me a monster? I was willing to sacrifice everything I loved in the name of the Creator. He will be born again to purify the earth of these unholy souls. Only the true heirs of the kingdom of God will prevail and create a new world. After what your sister did to her eyes, I thought we would never be able to open the vault again. You two are the last remaining twins with the sacred blood. I must thank you for giving me access to this place. I could not have done it by myself. But you, to take one of your eyes out? was absolutely genius. I won't let you use my sister and me for your sinister purposes. There is nothing you can do to stop it. We are the Polux sect, descendants of the ones that brought light and darkness. We are the heirs chosen to reign above every being that walks this earth. You are insane. This time, there's no bridge to jump from. Rejoice! You are about to fulfill your sacred destiny. There's no running away. I don't plan to run away. I'm coming for you. Get her. Prepare the twins for the blood offering.
killed those fools. They were not worthy of the Polex sect after all. This is over, Noah. Your gruesome dream ends here. Without the blood of the twins, you won't be able to bring that thing back to life. I have waited so long to revive our savior. I will show you that my faith has no limit. That's not going to happen. Oh, my child, if only you had faith.
Anna, I came back for you. You cut the chain! I told you I would get you out of here. Now, we need to escape to a safer time. A time? I mean, a place where we are safe. I don't know if I should trust you. Besides, I have to find Mother. Those men took her. I understand you want to find her, but those men in hazmat suits will be back if we don't leave right now. We don't have anything to fight them with. It would be better to go to town and get help. Then we can rescue your mother. Do you promise we'll be back for my mother? I promise, but you must trust me. Okay. here. Everything is completely different. I don't recognize the main hall at all. Something strange is happening. I feel as if I don't belong here. I can't explain it. I will explain in due time. What's important right now is us getting out of here. Do you trust me? I think I can trust you, miss. You don't need to call me Miss. Just call me Caroline. Okay, Miss Caroline. I I'm sorry, I mean Caroline. That's better. I know all of this is strange, but I will explain everything. Yes. I'm aware that my actions were wrong. Once you find out the truth, I hope you can forgive me.